I took upon myself to create an organization called the Order of Exorcist, and um, I created um, what I view as clinical personality uh, questions that should be asked when doing an assessment on an individual who claims to have symptoms of demonic possession or demonic issues, whatever the case is. So I created this 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 person uh, this this questionnaire. Uh, very close to a clinical evaluation in regards to where the individual uh, is coming from, what he's experiencing, uh, whether or not the, uh, his request uh, seemed to be legitimate, and, uh, and so on. And then with that, um, I suggested we have a, a medical team to be present, which we've always had a nurse uh, being part of, the, uh, of many of my teams. There's a, there's a nurse. I have some clergy that are actually doctors. Um, we have... Um, we have a, a lot of uh, uh, very spirit-filled individuals who have taken leadership roles, and uh, and as a result, they become very effective in, in what they do. Um, but as it stands now, um, I have to get right back to the uh, to the pitch I, I said earlier. Uh, we need more clergy who are willing to take on the ministry of exorcism. Uh, and if they have an existing ministry, God bless them if they're willing really to take on. A lot of ministries will not call or, or make available their services uh, to assess a parishioner's problem in regards to uh, this type of, uh, of uh, taboo spiritual uh, existence, the demonic, if you will. Uh, there's too many people that are out there that are just um, pretenders. And um, they create their own situation uh, you know, based on a psychological profile. There could be many reasons.